everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Um, basically what I'm going to show you in this video is how to select things in GIMP. I don't usually use GIMP so if there's a more simple way of doing this um, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Uh, I just had a friend recently uh, ask me how do you delete a background in GIMP because he wanted it transparent but I didn't really have an answer for him because I never use GIMP. I always use Photoshop but not everyone uses Photoshop. Not everyone can get it. So I got GIMP and I messed around in it a little bit and I think I found a couple of ways of doing this and they're actually a lot similar to how I would do it in Photoshop. So let's just, you know, start. This is an image I did forever ago, one of the first digital pieces I did. Um, so basically, uh, just open up whatever image that you want to delete something. Um, so like I said, we're going to delete the background like right here in these areas. So open that up in GIMP and then come over here and just make a new layer. And this little window thingy is going to pop up and just uh, make sure that it says transparency. Um, you don't really need to name it anything. You can if you want to, but I, I'm not. I don't name things usually. Um, then I'm going to click on uh, my picture layer and hit control C and for a Mac, uh, that would be command C, I believe. And then uh, clicking on the transparency layer that we just made, control V or, you know, command V, whatever. And then I'm going to right click it and anchor it. All right, so now we can get rid of that. And now it's like on a transparency layer. And I did that because if you just have your image here and you try to delete it, you know, it's, you know, it's gonna come up white and we don't want that. That's not what we want. We want it to be like th more like this. So this checkered background actually represents uh, transparency. So that's what we really want. So you can use just like the uh, eraser tool if you want and just, you know, simply erase it. But I'm going to guess a lot of people have uh, mice and not a pen tablet. So if you have a pen tablet, maybe this would be uh, an okay method for you because you have a little bit more control. But that could be a little bit difficult if you're just using a mouse or like a mouse pad or something. So another option is to use the magic wand tool, and I don't know if it's, it's called the fuzzy select tool, sorry, whatever. I use Photoshop, leave me alone. <laughs> um, so again, just make sure that you have this layer selected and not this one. Uh, you can actually probably just lock that one. Does that lock it? Yeah, I don't know. Um, and, you know, click the eyeball so it's like gone, so you don't see it, because we don't need that anymore. So we're just going to mess with this layer. And basically we're just going to simply select the background. And the thing is with this though, I gotta zoom in. Whoa, not that much. <sighs> Freaking gimp. So the thing about the selection tool is it, it's not always perfect, especially if you have like an imperfect kind of um, colored background like this. Uh, so it's like a mixture of colors and it's just going to select you know whatever like the similar pixels and everything and sometimes even the um the edges will be kind of jagged and that can leave you with kind of ugly lines so i'm holding down shift and selecting more of the background as much as i can get and then as soon as you have you know your background selected just hit delete and then Control shift a to deselect and then you know a lot of it's deleted and then I'm just gonna go in and erase some of this. But like I said, this method I found to be a little, uh, you know, jagged edges and stuff, and I don't like it. God, GIMP, seriously. So another method is using this lasso tool. And I don't know if it's called the same thing in, okay, this is just called the free selection tool, which is fine. Um, and basically what this is, it allows you to draw a line in any shape you want um in photoshop if you just let go of uh like your mouse and stuff it'll automatically close but this you have to in gimp you have to click the yellow dot to close it so once you have your shape hit delete and it's gone 
So basically what you can do is just carefully draw out um, the background. So basically you're selecting the pixels that you don't want. And usually for a technique like this, I like to do it in uh, smaller shapes because I don't know, <laughs> after a while my hand just gets wobbly and it comes out like a really ugly shape. Um, again, this is like another technique that might be okay if you have a pen tablet. I mean, I have a pen tablet and I still feel like it's all imperfect and ugly and, you know, whatever. But, um, gosh, I'm so used to hitting Control D for deselect. But in, in GIMP, it's uh, Control Shift A, which is fine, whatever. Or I guess in, I can't remember what the equivalent to Mac is because I haven't used Mac in... Uh, ever and forever um so i guess that would be control uh command um option a i don't know i'm sorry mac users i don't use mac i'm a pc user <laughs> um so that method is you know it's doable um but if you want to get something a little bit more precise especially if you have a mouse and not a pen tablet this this guy is the best tool in the entire world. I love this tool. It's called the pen tool in Photoshop, and I guess in GIMP it's just called the path tool. Yep, path tool. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm going to put my uh, pen to my pen tablet down now, and I'm actually going to use my uh, laptop's uh, mouse pad to do this. Uh, so basically, what this does is... It's, it's kind of like the free selection tool, but it gives you a little bit more control. It's not like free handed exactly. Um, and basically you're gonna leave, uh, you're gonna click to leave these points. And then if you click and drag, you can curve it. So basically this is gonna give you like really clean and crisp lines um, so that you can select everything very cleanly and it looks really nice. So I'm just going to close it. Um, in this, you have to, what is it? Oh yeah, uh, control, hold down control and then click the very first, um, uh, what's it called? A uh, point that you left. And then over here says select from path. So go ahead and click that. And now you can see that these little uh, lines pop up and that's you know showing you that everything's selected. And then hit delete. And then to get rid of the path, that you just made just click on a different tool so I just showed you three different ways of selecting the background and deleting it um let me know which one is your favorite and if there's a simpler way of doing this you know feel free to let me know uh, they're more or less the same things that you can do in Photoshop it's just very slight differences just in the way the tools work and still even in GIMP the path tool is still the most amazing tool. It's still my all-time favorite, even in GIMP. <laughs> um, there's also this tool, which is the uh, select by color tool, and I didn't use it here <laughs> just because, you know, it, it'll select like different parts of like the um, the picture they don't want to delete. So I didn't even bother using this. It might work for you, and it's basically, uh, it works in a very similar way to the fuzzy selection tool but it I mean it what it does is in the name it selects the color that is similar to what you kind of just selected um, so basically if I click uh, bleh, if I select this purple it's going to select similar purples to over here and you know this this image the colors kind of blend together very well <laughs> so I didn't even bother using this tool um, but you know, maybe it'll work for you. So, you know, you just select and delete, you know, more or less the same as the fuzzy selection tool. Um, but like I said, the path tool, still the best. Let me know which one is your favorite. Um, do you guys prefer GIMP or Photoshop? Let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.